This is my second writing lesson of the school year, and I use this awesome book called The Writer's Notebook by Ralph Fletcher. I also incorporate a circle map, and the goal of this lesson is to start generating ideas to write in their writer's notebook or their life book. If you like some of the strategies that I shared in this video, please make sure to hit the like button and share with any teachers that you know, and remember to subscribe to my channel. Good morning, my two faithful students. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Adams. <laughs> I know you guys are doing these lessons with me over the summer, and so I appreciate it. Because anything that I can uh, share with teachers live with students will hopefully make more sense. Okay. okay. So today's okay. lesson is um, all about generating ideas, and I forgot we're going to present the window so you guys can also see the slides and we will start today with our learning target and Ezekiel do you want to read the learning target today I can develop my ideas and the writing style to convey my tone and meaning to the audience good this first two to three weeks of class is just to develop your ideas so that's what we're using our life book our writers notebook for Okay. So Dean's lesson is going to be called, What is a Life Book? And a lot of people call it a writer's notebook. And I'm going to be using this book right here. So I'm going to switch the screen so I think you can see that a little bit better. Can you see that book? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is an awesome book by a really good writer. It's called A Writer's Notebook by Ralph Fletcher. And our goal, I'm going to read just a couple pages out of this book. And it's not a picture book, so you really have to be a good listener. As I'm reading out of this book, I want you to be thinking about what is a writer's notebook or what is a life book? Because when we're done, we're going to record that onto a circle map. Sound good? Yes. Okay. So, or I also want you to think about what kinds of things could we write about in our life book or writer's notebook? Okay. So sit back and relax. I'm going to actually read to you. Okay, so before we start this chapter, I think I need to ask you guys if you know what a ditch is. So I want you to think about that word ditch. What does it mean if I dig a ditch? Ezekiel, do you know? A ditch is like a rut in the road, like a hole. I'm a right. hole. Yeah. Anything? Ezekiel, did you want to add to that? So on the side of the road, you, there are usually ditches. Um, it's like not a tunnel, but it's like half of a tunnel, like with the top cut off, like down the side of the road. That's a cool analogy. I love I that. I have yeah. a block of how to say it. So like a long, narrow ditch or a hole in the ground. Yeah. That was a cool analogy. Awesome. Okay, go ahead and mute yourselves. Here we go. Once when I was a boy, a telephone repair truck pulled up in front of our house and two workers got out. They had come to lay a telephone cable. My brothers and sisters and I watched them work hard for almost three hours, digging a long, narrow ditch in our backyard. Finally, when it was starting to get dark, they left the ditch and went home, promising to return and finish the job the next morning. Early the following morning, I went outside and looked into that empty ditch. But it wasn't empty at all. I was amazed to find all sorts of small animals caught in there. Four toads, two frogs, even a small box turtle. Do you think that could happen here in Las Vegas? No, Ezekiel, why not? Turn up, unmute yourself. We're in the desert. <laughs> yeah, those are animals we don't find here in Las Vegas. All right, let me continue. They must have wandered into that ditch, gotten stuck there, and been unable to climb back out. I let all the animals go. The two workers returned, finished laying the telephone cable, and covered up the ditch. That got me thinking. The next day, I decided to dig my own ditch. I dug it at the edge of the woods. I didn't think Dad would have appreciated seeing another ditch in our lawn, and made it about a foot wide, 10 feet long, and 8 inches deep. The next morning, I hurried outside and discovered that, yes, the same thing had happened. A number of small creatures had been caught in there. A writer's light notebook is like that ditch. 
an empty space you dig in your busy life, a space that will fill up with all sorts of fascinating little creatures. If you dig it, they will come. You'll be amazed by what you can catch there. What is a writer's notebook anyway? Let's start by talking about what it's not. A writer's notebook is not a diary. Today it is raining. We have a substitute teacher named Mrs. Pampanella. She seems very nice. We're going to have Jim right before lunch. It's not, you'll like this part, it's not a reading journal in which your teacher tells you to summarize the main idea of a book or to write a letter to the character. A writer's notebook or a life book is different from any journal you've ever kept before. Writers are pretty ordinary people. They have favorite songs, favorite movies, favorite TV shows, and writers have evil big sisters and occasionally sweet ones too. They get good or not so good grades. They take vacations, they paint their houses. Writers are like other people except for at least one important difference. Other people have daily thoughts and feelings. They notice this sky or that smell, but they don't do much about it. All those thoughts and feelings and sensations and opinions pass through them like the air they breathe. So what is a writer's notebook for? It gives you a place to write down what makes you angry, what makes you sad, what makes you amazed, to write down what you noticed and what you don't wanna forget to record exactly what your grandmother whispered in your ear before she said goodbye for the last time. A writer's notebook gives you a place to live like a writer, not just in school during writing time, but wherever you are at any time of the day. The last little piece I want to read to you, it says, what does a writer's notebook look like? There's no right answer for that question, except for your writer's notebook should reflect your personality. Okay, so, so I want you to think about what kinds of things do you think you could write about in your writer's notebook or life book? And go ahead and raise your hands. I Go ahead, Rayanne. Something that happened to you. Something that happened to you. Ezekiel. Something very personal that's important to you. Good. And I, I heard in here something that makes me sad I could write about. What else could I write about? Ryan? Something, like something important to you. Good. Ezekiel, did you want to add on to that? I'd say really you can write what you want. Honestly. Yeah. I, could I write about a memory? Yes. Yeah. Could I write about something that happened today? Yes, you could. Could I write about my first, first virtual lesson with my new teacher? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the Elmo on. And you guys have your life books or writer's notebooks with you. And one part of this book said that what does the writer's notebook look like? And in the next week, I want you to start, um, we're going to make our writer's notebook personal to us. So, so your life book is personal to you. This was my very first life book or writer's notebook that I, um, I made during my first year of teaching a long time ago. So you notice on the front, I have UNLV Volleyball. I have some of my first students, my sister, my grandma, a ticket stub. On the back, I have a picture with babies and shoes because I love babies and I love shoes. Um, this was my very first elementary school I ever taught at. And I love words. So it says, I know it's a child's advice, but just take it. So your writer's notebook, you wanna start personalizing it to you. Another example, this was one of my next life books where I have pictures of my son. I have some tickets of some shows that I went to, and this is me and my son, Jaden, with my favorite colors. So your life book is really something that you wanna make special to you, okay? So for today's lesson, I want you to turn to the back of your life book, okay? The very last page. So here we have our front side, and now we have our back side. And what we are going to do is, we're gonna use this entire piece of paper, and I am gonna write the word life book or writer's notebook right here in the middle. Okay. So after 
I write the word life book, then I'm going to draw my circle. I know a lot of team times um, a teacher will draw the circle first and, and then put the words in there. Uh, I prefer to write the words so I don't have to squish my words inside of a circle. So we're going to make our own circle map. And we want to think about what types of things can we write about in our life book or our writer's notebook. Rand, what kind of things can we write about? Um, Say it again. Trips. Good. Okay. So I can write trips or we can also say vacation. So everything that I am writing in my life book, I want you to also record in yours. Ezekiel, what else do you think we can write about? Um, we can write about personal experiences. Mm -hmm. And what else can we call those? Mem things that we, personal experiences. All right, can we call those memories as well? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to put personal experiences slash memories. Okay. What else can we write about? Ooh. Go ahead, Rand. You can write a fa about fairy, fairy tales. Okay. Fairy tales. So you guys are copying this down. You know what? I heard something else in the Ralph Fletcher book that all we all have favorite things, right? So maybe sometimes instead of writing a story, I write a list of some of my favorite things. So I'm gonna put favorites and then underneath I'm gonna put a list because not all writing has to be a story. Anything else you can think about Ezekiel or Rand? You can write about your future, like okay. write a note to your future self. I like that, about future plans or to your future self. Mm -hmm. How about um, Ralph Fletcher also said we could write about things that make that may, we were happy about, things that make us happy. Ezekiel, did you want to add on? Um, I just wanted to say that, that with the list, I could write my favorite cars. You could. That can be fun stuff, right? Any of your favorites, favorite movies, favorite books, favorite vacations. That could be a fun one. So lists are a lot of fun. Anything else? So we could have maybe memories that made us happy. What else could we write about? You could write quotes. Oh, I love that. Whenever I read a book and I find a quote that I love and I don't want to forget, so I could um, I could write a quote from a book, or if I if I had my own quote, I could write that as well. That's a fun one. Okay, that's a really good start. Now we're going to be using this circle map for a few different other lessons, but let's talk about what you're going to be doing during your independent writing today. Okay. So during your writing time today, first, you can add to this circle map if you think of other things that we can write about. Second, you can go back to the story, to any entry that you started. So if I started a story here, but I didn't quite finish it, I can always go back to an earlier entry. You know what? We better add that to our circle map. Okay. So let's put return to earlier entry. And I will leave this up here in case you're not finished copying it yet. So let's think about what are you going to write about today? And if we were in the classroom, this is when I would say turn and talk to your partner. So Ryan, what are you thinking you might want to write about today? I think I want to write about my um, I write a note to my future self. I like that. Okay, and Ezekiel, what, what are you thinking you might want to write about today? A list of my favorite cars, because I want to be able to remember what my favorite cars used to be, because like every few weeks it changes. I like that. So one of the most important things we've talked about is whenever you have a new entry, we have to put the what? Date. The date. So that when you are my age, you can come all the way. This is going to be embarrassing, but I'll do it anyway. You can come all the way back to your original entry, and it says August 26, 1997. 
And it's pretty crazy to look back at those entries, okay? So for our independent writing today, I'm gonna to go ahead and start our timer. Remember during writing time, we have no talking, no? Walking. Walking, okay? So let me go down to, we have a fun little timer today. We're gonna to have 12 minutes on the clock. Our quote for today, when I find something that inspires me, I write about it in my writer's notebook. Okay, so no talking, no walking. At the end of 12 minutes, I will have a couple people share what they wrote. You may begin. All right, remember the timer just went off. And so even when the timer goes off, sometimes we're not quite finished with a sentence. So I want you to take one more minute. If you're not quite finished, finish the sentence you're writing on. If you are finished, I want you to go back and reread what you wrote. Okay, so we'll come back together. And remember, during our whole group share, we always will have time for at least two people every day. And we want to be asking questions or compliments as people share. Okay? Okay. So awesome job today. Wait, were, were we supposed to see the your life book? Oh, you didn't see it? You didn't see it. Oh, man. So you couldn't see any of that? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Blooper. Blooper. I thought that was like such a good Blooper segment. Cam. Hold on. Let me get out of the Elmo. Yes. Wow. This is flashbacks. Um, let me try something. Hold on. I can I can totally fix this. Definitely. I have a booger. You can't you, you're too embarrassed to I have a booger? No, imagine if you did. Like, oh, I was like, you're, you're in public and you're like trying to get it out without having to pick inside your nose. <laughs> oh, now you're presenting. Yes, yeah, it's working. Oh, look, okay. we can see ourselves, but, but we're glitchy. Okay, let me see if the whiteboard is working now. Mm. <gasps> yes. Uh. Can, you <laughs> so can you see it now? Yes. Ooh. 